Hello, and welcome to the first video in the RefTab How to Import series. In this series, we're going to be covering exactly how to import your assets, your loanees, and your loans. So let's get started. RefTab allows importing assets from a CSV file. In this video, we'll show you the process of adding fields to your asset categories, properly formatting your CSV file, mapping your columns, and importing your assets. We do have some important things to note. You need to have at least one location and one category before importing. Assets can only be imported to one location and one category at a time. This is due to separate fields being present depending on the category. And depending on how many categories you are importing, you may need to repeat this process multiple times. To get started, log in to your RefTab account and head to the Asset Categories located next to the Settings button. From here, you're able to see all of your available categories, the fields currently assigned to them, as well as any available fields. For this import, I need three fields of hard drive size, date purchased, and processor. I want to assign the date purchase field to my laptops. I can simply drag and drop this field to the right size. Now I'm going to add a new field for processor. To do this, I can simply click new field, type the field name, and choose a field type. RefTab allows fields such as text, lists, date, geolocation, pre-populated lists, currency, and assets. For this, we'll stick with the text field and click save. We can then click the check mark to assign this field. Now that we have created our fields, we can properly format our CSV file. Here is an example CSV. The important thing to note here is that my column headers exactly match my fields in RefTab. This will allow RefTab to map these fields automatically. Be sure to export this as a CSV file and head back into RefTab. In your Assets tab, click the Import Assets button. Before you choose your file, be sure to click the checkbox labeled CSV has column headers in first line. This tells RefTab to automatically match those columns. And once your file is chosen, you'll then be prompted to choose a location and then a category. Once chosen, you can double check that your fields have been properly mapped. For me, I need to assign the first column to asset IDs. If you do not have pre-existing IDs, you can import without this column. RefTab will auto-assign these. After mapping your columns, click the Import Assets button at the bottom of this prompt. And that's it! You have successfully imported your assets and are ready to begin assigning these to your loanees.